All right, in about four hours or so from now, you should be able to look up in the sky and see the Near Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Space Explorer. Hey, that sounds fun, doesn't it? Well, it's also known as the comet NEOWISE. It's kind of an acronym. And unless you plan on living for another 6,800 years, right now is your only chance to see it. NEOWISE is one of just 3,650 comets that we know about out there in the heavens. But there are likely billions more snowballs of frozen gases, rock and dust out there ripping around the sun that we just haven't seen yet. It is NEOWISE right now 70 million miles from Earth, traveling at about a speed of 40 miles per second or 144,000 miles an hour, which is why, according to Chris Anderson from the Herrett Center for Arts and Sciences in Twin Falls, well, that's why we've only known about NEOWISE since the end of March. Well, the, the short answer is that this is a comet on an extremely stretched out orbit. So, I mean, it goes, comes from way out, comes way in, and that means it comes in fast. These really long orbits, these comets are basically in free fall from the outer fringes of the solar system, so they can come zipping in a, at a real breakneck pace. I mean, they don't come around that often, comets. Well, so, you know, if you look across all of human history, you know, the earliest comets in recorded history, the Chinese recorded back in the 7th century BC. But if you look at all the ones that have been bright enough for people to make a note of, on average, they come around roughly once every decade. So, you know, about every 10 years, you expect a pretty decent comet. Well, we've had a drought, right? Since, since Hale-Bopp, it's been 23 years. And of course, that's how the law of averages go. So this is the one we've been kind of waiting for for the last uh, 10 years or so. So see it while you can. Absolutely. Yeah, I've been telling people, don't wait. Literally one day can make a big difference in terms of how visible it is. And uh, right now it's, it's like kind of undergoing this outburst from having passed the sun. But it could basically shut off almost like a light switch uh, overnight. You never know. So. Neowise only expected to be visible to the naked eye for about the next week or so. But Chris says that's always just an estimate because these things tend to change direction on their own sometimes as they lose particles passing by the sun. Those pictures that we just showed you, though, some of those were taken just on their cell phones. So it's pretty clear out there. So if you do want to see it tonight or this weekend, it's up there all night long, but it gets closer to the horizon the later it gets in the night. It would help to get away from city lights, but right about sunset as you're about to start seeing some of those stars pop out. Look for the Big Dipper toward the northwest, then just drop straight down. Look for something that has the appearance of a fuzzy smudge. Chris's words, not mine. And if you have a telescope or even binoculars, well, the view is even that much better. Again, on average, we won't see the next comet for, well, for 10 years or so. But as Chris said, like Neowise, we could be surprised with an appearance sooner than that.